can't forget the impact of Hurricane Sandy. $68 billion in damage, 280 people were killed, and over 350,000 homes were either destroyed or damaged. Well, there could be a solution to better prevent our homes from being destroyed by a hurricane like Sandy. That project is called Shore House. We decided to focus on something that's very, very relevant to uh, the New Jersey area, and that's flood resistance and the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. They had two requirements for their project. The house had to be run on solar power, and it had to cost about $300,000 so that a middle-class family would be able to afford something like this. When the flood waters rise, no water will penetrate into the house and deteriorate any of the materials. It's a low-lying house, so as opposed to the houses on stilts because of these FEMA rules that you have to raise your house so high, they say the materials used would be waterproof, it would be air sealed tight, and they say that 90% less heating energy would be used in this home. I gotta be honest, Meg, these sound like the ugliest houses I, I can imagine. If you see them, they're very simple, it's very beachy, they're using natural materials, very clean lines. You know, the beauty of the, these houses is, is that they're solar powered and we just did a story uh, about how a homeowner raised his home according to code and then had a huge bill from JCPNL. So that's a huge help. Exactly. And so if you go off the grid, if the power's out, your house can still be powered by the solar power. So this costs 300, 350. Does that include solar panel installation? That's supposed to be pretty expensive. It does. That doesn't include the cost of the land, the cost of the property. As we know, some of the shore properties are awfully expensive, but materials to build the home $300,000. Yeah, but that's actually half the cost of most of the beach houses that were destroyed during Hurricane Sandy, so that's a good deal. But one of the major impediments to people rebuilding, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars dollars $40,000 in insurance costs. Mm -hmm. These will be hurricane proof, so will that save you money on insurance as well? So legislation is going to need to be passed here because FEMA requires your house to be raised to a certain level. So while I was there, actually, the mayor of Seaside Park was there. I spoke to him. Maybe a tremendous option for those folks that don't have the ability to get up to a, a 15 foot first floor. So this is a, a great option that we can look for and hopefully develop and then develop some code around it so that this is a possibility. But are they claiming that it's 100% hurricane proof? Because how can you really predict nature? They say it's waterproof, air sealed tight, and will not allow water into your home. Well, it's good marketing, let's put it that yes. way. Coming up on the next Chasing New Jersey, is this